Hello and welcome to your weekend Bible inspiration. Our God is good and His mercy is endured forever. God bless you so much for being with me today too. I know you are doing well in the Lord. Hallelujah. As we journey through the Psalms, we remember that we started the Psalm 18 and we read to some to the verse 11. As we always do, we are going to go through it today too. And as we know, uh, the, we, the, books of, the book of Psalms are 150. Yes, some are poems, some are prayers, some are songs and all that. According to the Jewish culture, the way they used it, they write it on every psalm. And we know that the psalm is a the book of psalms is a collection of books yes which has many authors king david asaph the sons of korah solomon moses him Hen- heman and ethan yes and as we know most of us know we have 150 of them 116 of the psalms have their author's name written on top of it, but the rest have no names. But suffice to say that the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit inspired men and women of God to write the Psalms. Hallelujah. So we will continue from verse 12, Psalm 18, verse 12, and see where we'll get to within our 10 minutes. Okay. If you have not read through or listened to 1 to 11, please go back to, you'll find it six days ago or even seven days ago written on it. So let's hear the word of God. Thick clouds shielded the brightness around him. That is, he's talking about God. And rained down hail and burning coals. The Lord thundered from heaven. The voice of the Most High resounded amidst the hail and burning coal. Last week we learned that God is a consuming fire. He answers by fire. He answers his children by fire and he answers the enemy also by fire. On one side, we have that good fire, that good fire response. On the other hand, we have the fire that consumes so we need to be careful. He shot his arrows and scattered his enemies. Great bolts of lightning flashed and they were confused. Then, at your command, O Lord, at the blast of your breath, the bottom of the sea could be seen and the foundations of the earth were laid bare. He reached down from heaven and rescued me. Hallelujah. That is from verse 16. He reached down from heaven and rescued me. He drew me out of deep waters. This is what our God does for us. He rescued me from my powerful enemies, from those who hated me and were too strong for me. Is that so in life? Yes, it is so in life. And remember that we are not fighting against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers of darkness. Brethren in the Lord, we need to be very careful the way we live our lives. We need to be extra, extra careful. We need to have an intimacy with the Lord so that whatever he has said concerning us will come to pass. Verse 18, they attacked me at a moment when I was in distress, but the Lord supported me. Verse 19, he led me to a place of safety. He rescued me because he delighted in me. Oh, what a mighty God we said. Verse 20, the Lord rewarded me for doing right. He restored me because of my innocence, for I have kept the ways of the Lord. 
I have not turned from my God to follow evil. Also that all that we are learning today, brethren, in the Lord, if it is not happening in our lives, if we are not that close to God as David is saying, then we need to seek for him while he's, he will be found. We need to seek him in this time of grace. We need to seek the Lord. We need to have an intimacy with the Lord. Because with this, we will understand what Christianity actually is. Because most people are far from the truth. Most people do not have time to study the word. They are being deceived. And they think Christianity is the hardest thing on this earth. It is God who fights for us. It is God who provides unto us. It is ours to to have faith in him, believe in him, trust in him, and then to pray. This is what we ought to do so that we'll see the glory of God. For I have kept the ways of the Lord, verse 21. I have not turned from my God to, to follow evil. 22. I have followed all his regulations. I have never abandoned his decrees. 23. I am blameless before God. I have kept myself from sin. Verse 24. The Lord rewarded me for doing right. He has seen my innocence. 25. To the faithful, you show yourself faithful. To those with integrity, you show integrity. To the, to the pure, you show yourself pure. But to the crooked, you show yourself shrewd. Brethren in the Lord, they are all written in the Bible. And it is practical. It is what happens. So if what Jesus says is what we will do, it means that he will do same to us. If you are pure, the Lord will be pure unto you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. If you, are, you, you have integrity, God will show integrity. If you are faithful to God, God will show his faithfulness. Oh, but to the crooked, he will show himself shrewd. That is where people will be crying and gnashing their teeth. May the Lord have mercy. So that anyone who has chosen this right way, the way of the Lord, that person will never end in hell. May the Lord help us to stand till the end so that we'll all meet in heaven. You rescue the humble, verse 27, but you humiliate the proud. 28, you light a lamp for me. The Lord is my God. The Lord my God lights up my darkness. 29. In your strength I can crush my I can crush an army. With my God I can scale any wall. God's way, verse 30, is perfect. God's way is perfect. All the Lord's promises prove true. He is a shield for all who look to him for protection. Verse 31. For who is God except the Lord? Who but our God is a solid rock? God, God arms me with strength and he makes my way perfect. Verse 33. He makes me as sure-footed as, sure as a deer, enabling me to stand on mountain heights. We all know how the deer runs and how the deer has a, a, a sure foot. When he stands, it is very firm. Brethren in the Lord, we will end here today too. We'll, hear, we'll end here today too with the verse we just read hallelujah that is verse 33 may the lord bless you even as you share the word of god remember that every week we have from monday to friday 
I, I also share the devotion, which is only five minutes. If you have never come across it, please subscribe so that you get to know or hear all of them or watch all of them. God bless you. Share the word and let that person also receive hope in Christ. Bye-bye.